Hey there YouTube viewers, I'm back again. Uh, it's been a while since I last created my last video, but uh, I'm back and I've decided to start up a new tutorial series. I'll be teaching you guys how to code in PHP, the programming language that is. I've actually seen up a lot of videos on YouTube dealing with this, so uh, of course you can look at some of the other videos, I'm sure that uh, some of them may go in more depth than I do or whatnot, but uh, this is simply just to help you help anyone who wants to learn. Uh, today in this tutorial, this will be tutorial one of however many I create, so I don't know, but you'll be learning how to create a PHP script. I'll show you how to create a variable, how to comment, do a block comment in the inline comment, and how to display words or to display a variable. Now there's uh, three things you need to create a PHP program. First thing you need, make sure you have a text editor of some form. Uh, it could be notepad, it could be whatever you want. I personally use JEdit simply because it's color coded so uh, when you're typing away uh, you make a tag, it, it color codes it for you so it's easy to find if you make any errors. So th that's what you need, you need a text editor. The uh, second thing you need is a command prompt or a command line. If you're running Windows, you already have that, so don't worry about it. And the third thing that you need is PHP itself. You can find that free on the web. Just go to php.net slash downloads dot php. Uh, I suggest getting the latest version. You can always get our further versions uh, back. Uh, little bit into the past but I suggest the newer ones and then ju that's all you need is so text editor PHP and a command line so I'm going to close that and so what you're going to do first of all open up your text editor I ha already have mine and I, again I use JEdit uh, this is what JEdit looks like it's a nice little uh, text editor I love it uh, so now, first of all, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to start off a PHP script. Uh, to do this, you need to type out a starting tag, telling your computer that you want to start a PHP script. To do that, you type in the following. That's, that shows, this shows that you want to start a PHP script. Now, with every starting tag, you need an ending tag. To end this tag, you simply do that. See how uh, when I move my little cursor thingy over this bracket it'll highlight this the top bracket here that just shows that it corresponds with the top one and that's how you do it uh, and then of course just save as uh, and you can save it to wherever you'd like it doesn't matter I'm gonna save it to my desktop simply cuz because of it's easy to access it and you can name it whatever you want I'll be showing you guys how to create the hello world program so I'm going to name it Hello World. Uh, right after you name it whatever you want, make sure you put .php at the end. Remember that. Whatever you want, .php. Simple as that. And then save it. There you go. See how it's color coded? That's why I love JEdit. And see, it color codes it blue. Anyways, there you go. Now you have an official PHP script. It does nothing, but you have the program. As you can see, it's right there. Alright, so that's how you do a starting and ending tag. Uh, that pretty much goes for everything. You start If you start a tag, you end it. Now to show you how to comment in a block format. So first of all, again, you need to start your comments. And so in the top, uh, in a block comment, I usually put the file name. So hello world.php. I usually put the author author's name of the program, so I'm going to put my name, and I usually put the date, so I believe it is the 19th today, if I'm not mistaken. And I put the purpose of the program, is to uh, display the words, hello world. And I'm just going to put that in brackets. Alright, so like I said, every time you start a tag, you must end it. So I'm going to end the tag like so. And that's what a block comment is. It's just commenting. Uh, when the when your computer goes over this over your script, it ignores all this in between the comments. Uh, comments are just to help other people to understand what your code is supposed to do. 
And the reason why they call it block comment is because it's in the shape of a block. Hence, block comment. Anyways, that's how you do a block comment. An inline comment uses only one line. And to do that, you just need a, you don't need an ending tag, you just do double slash, double forward slash. And then you can type in whatever you want. So it displays the words, hello world. There we go. And that's an inline comment, so it takes up one line. Block comments take up several lines. So that's how you do commenting in PHP. Uh, now to create a variable. Simple as, uh, very simple. Dollar sign, type in whatever you want. So I'm going to put name. And I'm going to have that equal to my name. So now what this, what this means is the variable name is equal to my name, Curtis. And see how I put a semicolon after the, after the line? That just tells your computer to cut off that line because you're going to start something new. Uh, you, you, you're going to be putting semicolons usually at the end of most things. So, anyways, that's a, how do you create a variable. Sorry I'm going a little fast. I have to keep this under 10 minutes. Uh, continuing on, uh, last thing I want to quickly show you in this tutorial is how to echo out a variable uh, like hen hence or how to echo out words or display them. You're, you're going to use the function echo, what I've been saying. Echo just means display. Now you can display out words, hello world, or you can echo out a variable name or variable string or variable integer or whatever. Whatever the variable contains, that's what it's going to echo out. So since name is equal to my name, it's going to echo out Curtis. Again, as you can see, I've put semicolons after each of these. It just tells your computer to cut it off there. Uh, so now, since it's modified, we're going to save it. We're going to go back to our desktop, and we're going to see it there. Uh, now, to run your program, don't double-click it. That's not how you run the program. Instead, open up a command line. To do this, you can go start, run, type in CMD, and hit enter. Or the fast way is to hit the window key plus R. It pops up the little run box and just type in CMD and hit enter. A nice little box will pop up, a little black one. This is your command line. Now, assuming you've installed the PHP, you'll be able to run your program here. To do this, you need to change your directory to the specific spot that you've put your program. So since I put it on my desktop, i got to change my directory. That's what CD stands for. Change directory to my desktop. And see how it changed to my directory? If you have to go back a level, just change your directory. Dot dot means back. See how I go back. So in my case, I need to go to my desktop. And to run your program, you simply type in PHP space and the name of your program. So hello world dot PHP. You hit enter, and you will soon see the two things that, that we told to echo out. So first we go out hello world and then my name. As we can see, hello world, and then my name. Uh, and that's pretty much how the first tutorial here. Again, I'll be doing a lot more uh, in depth, and I hopefully I won't have to go so fast. Uh, if, if you need to, you can just rewatch this, and hopefully you can understand it better if you didn't the first time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you around soon.